Hello and welcome to FED Learning. Angular version 19 was released yesterday, November 19, 2024. And in this video, we will explore the exciting new updates and features in Angular 19. So let's start with the first update. The default setting for standalone is now true. Angular 14 introduced standalone components, streamlining dependency management. However, Developers needed to explicitly enable this feature by setting standalone true in their code, since it was not enabled by default. And starting with Angular version 19, all components, directives, and pipes are now stable by default. This means you will never need to write standalone true again. And what about your existing Angular code? When you update to version 19, the ng update command automatically refactors your code ensuring everything works seamlessly. This includes components, directives and pipes in modules will include standalone faults and unnecessary code from existing standalone components will be removed. Next, we'll talk on updates on signal. What's new and updated? In Angular version 19, the signal and computed APIs have reached stability. Building on this, the Angular team has introduced more signal-based API and stabilized single-based query APIs, including input and output. These two are the signal-based input and output properties for components. Next, module for signal-based two-way data binding. Next, view child, signal-based query for child component. Then view children for multiple child components, content child for content child component, and last, content children, signal-based query for multiple content child component. Additionally, Angular version 19 introduces several new and experimental APIs. First, let's talk on signal API, called as linked signal. Linked signal works similarly to signal, but with one key difference. It's connected to a computed expression that sets its initial value, and we can update linked signal freely, just like a regular signal. But when the computed expression changes, linked signal automatically reverts to its calculated value. And to learn more about linked signal, including examples and use cases, kindly check out my video. The link is available in the description below. Next, let's talk on new and experimental resource API. Angular 19 introduces two experimental APIs, resource and Rx resource, to simplify asynchronous data retrieval. And this API provides the unified approach for retrieving data using both promises and observables. Resource API provides a promise-based interface for data retrieval, whereas Rx Resource API offers an observables-based interface for data retrieval. And these APIs aim to streamline data management, reducing complexity and improving efficiency. Now, next feature is stabilization of inputs, outputs, and view queries. Under this, let's discuss the new automatic refactoring tools introduced in Angular version 19. There are three separate tools, and we can choose to run them on our code. So the first tool is signal input migration. It converts inputs using the decorator API to the new signal-based inputs with command ng-generate at the rate angular slash core colon signal input migration. Next tool is output migration. It updates components to the new function based output API and run this with command ng generate at the rate angular slash core colon output migration. And the last tool is signal queries migration. It replaces queries like view child and content child with signal based equivalents. And to run this migration, use command ng generate at the rate angular slash core colon signal queries migration. Now let's proceed to discuss the updates on hydration. Angular 16 supports full application hydration, enabling Angular to hydrate the entire application at once. And then Angular 17 introduced deferable views or defer block, allowing developers to delay hydration of specific views or components. After that, Angular 18 introduced event replay enabling replying of events on hydrated components. And Angular 19 now includes incremental hydration. It allows Angular to hydrate components independently as they become visible on the screen rather than hydrating the entire application at once. 
and this approach improves page load times reduces initial hydration overhead and enhances user experience now let's talk on angular material updates angular material continues to shape the angular developers landscape so let's explore the latest improvement in angular version 19 updates so the angular team has introduced enhanced theming api for simplifies customizing and managing application themes next component overrides allows developers to customize and extend angular material components next is two dimensional drag and drop for enhance ui interaction with two dimensional drag and drop functionality next support for tab reordering to improve user experience capability and last a brand new time picker component for streamlines time selection with a dedicated time picker component it supports 12 hours as well as 14 hours formats and last let's discuss on typescript version angular 18 previously supported typescript version 5.4 but angular 19 now supports typescript 5.6 this means that we can use the latest version of typescript in our angular applications as typescript 5.4 is no longer supported so this video provides an overview but in coming videos we will explore these updates in depth so stay tuned and subscribe to fed learning for quick and easy learning thank you for your time bye bye